Hey there, welcome back. So let's talk about starting your project in Unity. Once you have the Unity Hub downloaded and you have a version of Unity installed, you can now create a new project. You can also go through the Learn tab over here on the left hand side and use one of the micro games or creator kits to try to start just kind of messing around with exactly how Unity works. We're going to go to just projects though, and we're going to create a new project. This new project, I'm going to make 2D. I'm going to call this uh, Unity Intro. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop, but you can of course save it wherever you want to. Now the other options that are here, this is a blank 3D project. This is a 3D project with some extra content. In this case, the extra content, if you click on the information, it comes with presets and example content. High Definition Render Pipeline is Unity's scriptable render pipeline that gives very high fidelity assets. And then the Universal Project uses Unity's Universal Render Pipeline, which is focused on giving uh, assets that can, or not assets, graphics, that can port between both mobile and desktop slash um, console. So we're going to be using 2D here. We're going to create our new project. This sometimes takes a minute, so I will meet you guys back here once my new project is created. Okay, so if this is the first time you're using Unity, you should be greeted by a screen that looks something like this. Now, for the most part, I'm going to leave this exactly as it is, but you might have fewer tabs than I do because Unity tends to remember things that you like to have, or you might have more tabs than I do because I might have gotten rid of some tabs. So let's just kind of walk our way around the screen here and talk about what's where. On the left hand side, you'll see what's called the hierarchy window. The hierarchy window exists to tell you what is in the current scene that you're using. Unity uses a scene based structure. In the center, we should see the scene view itself so that you can take a look at everything that would be in your scene. And this little camera icon shows you what that main camera would be rendering. I can also click over to the game tab and this will tell you what that main camera is seeing. You can also see that by highlighting your main camera and you'll get this little camera preview in your scene view. Now you probably don't have asset store or animator tabs up here. Don't worry, we'll talk about those at a later time. Now whenever you highlight an object, you'll notice that the inspector tab on the right is going to change. This is because Unity uses what's called a component pattern in most of its design. What you can see in the inspector when you highlight an object are the components that are part of that game object. So a thing that is in a scene is known as a game object. And you can have game objects that are part of other game objects. And then the game object itself is made up out of components. And these components, you can see, are kind of separated from one another. There's a component called the transform. There's a camera component because it's a camera. And there's an audio listener, which allows us to have some audio in our scene. Um, if you take a look, any of these uh, individual pieces, like the position, the rotation, and the scale, can all be accessed by getting both this game object, then its transform component, and then the position part of the transform component. The same is true for the camera. If you wanted to change the camera from an orthographic projection to a perspective, uh, you could do that by accessing the game object, the camera component, and then the projection part of that. Don't worry if you don't know what orthographic or perspective mean. That's something we'll talk about later. But just know that the way that things are set up, since we have these components, is you would access a game object. From the game object, you can then access a component. And then from the component, you can access certain parts of that component. Now down here at the bottom, we can see our project view. This is the file settings inside of our assets. Now, every project that gets made in Unity gets created with an Assets folder, and the Assets folder inside of it will also be created with a Scenes folder that has the sample scene. This is the scene we're currently in. Now, it's a good idea to just kind of know right away how to make new folders. So once you have your Assets folder highlighted here, if you right-click, go to Create, you can choose all kinds of things to create. And this can be a little overwhelming at first, but just for now, let's just create a folder, and I'm going to call this Art. Now, any new art that I'm going to import into this project, I'm going to make sure it goes into this art folder here, just to keep things kind of nice and organized from the, uh, from the jump up. Also down here, you should have a console window. You probably don't have an animation window. 
If you don't have a console window, then how you can find any of these windows that you might be missing or that you might want to see is by going up to the window tab and then choosing what window you'd like to add. In this case, let's say you want to add a console window. Uh, console is going to be under doo -doo -doo, general, I believe. Yep, there it is. So under general, console, this is allows you to see any errors. Now once this window gets created, it doesn't necessarily get created where you'd exactly want it to be. Your console window might be, get created kind of free floating out here. Now Unity has this kind of dockable system with its tabs. You can take this console tab and you can dock it pretty much anywhere on the screen you might want. You might want your console window over here next to the inspector. You might like it like I do down here by the project stuff. And then you can kind of shuffle these around to get things exactly how you want it. Any um, debug statements, any print statements, or any errors are going to show up in this console window. Now, this layout, this default Unity layout, might not be something you like. If you're working in 2D, I find it helpful to be able to see both the scene and the game at the same time. To do that, you'd want to go to your layout and change this to be tall. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, and then once this is tall, you can now separate your scene view and your game view. Now, if you ever feel like you have kind of messed stuff around too much, if you just go back to where it says tall up here, choose default, it'll take you back to the default Unity layout that you started with. Hey, and look at that. I now no longer have those extra windows. So, there we go. That's kind of maneuvering around Unity, or at least an introduction to how Unity looks. Uh, oh, one more thing. The camera, by default, is going to have whatever aspect ratio the game view does. Currently, my game view is set to be free aspect. Now, in general, I'm going to want to have a target for whatever game I'm working with. So I'm going to set it to have a specific uh, resolution, let's say 16 by 9. And now if I go back to my scene view, you'll notice that my camera automatically changed to fit whatever aspect ratio was chosen on the game tab. If you leave it at free aspect, then whatever size the game tab is, see how it's kind of a rectangle now? That's the size your camera is going to take. So it's generally a good idea to have this in mind from the very beginning so that everything looks like you'd expect it to. So there we go. There's a quick little tour of using Unity. Alright, thanks very much for watching. I hope you learned something. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons down there if you did learn something. You can share this to your social media platform if you think somebody you know might want to learn it. Uh, you can click the bell icon. Just, just go nuts on those buttons down there. There's so many buttons. Why not try pushing them all? Except for maybe dislike. You know, maybe, maybe leave that one alone. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you open up the description, uh, you can see that I have provided links to my Patreon, uh, where if you want to check in a buck to make sure these videos keep coming, you sure can. My Discord channel, where not just me, but other people are chatting every day, kind of helping people out who are trying to learn this whole trade. Uh, you can find my itch.io page, where I have some assets and some general frameworks. And yeah, there's also some kind of general use links down there, so feel free to check out that description. Otherwise, I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day.